Sometimes in the tropics, if it's nice and calm, um, I'll drop sail and I'll lash the helm over to one side and I'll jump overboard and I'll have a swim around the boat. And sometimes I'll swim, you know, I'll, I'll swim away from the boat just to get that feeling of vastness, that sense of eternity that if the boat did sail away would be basically eternity. And it is a scary thought, it definitely is. Um, but yeah, it's, uh, it's also kind of intriguing in some ways. <laughs> so <laughs> to just get that little bit of distance from yourself in the boat in the middle of the ocean, you know. So. My name is Kirsten Neuschäfer and I've entered the Golden Globe race, which is a solo, non-stop, around-the-world race, following in the footsteps of Sir Robin Knox Johnston, who was the first person to sail solo, non-stop, around the world. This is a retro race. Uh, you can only use what was available in 1968, which means old-school boats, celestial navigation, and no GPS or modern communication systems. In a way, we're sailing blind. You only have the sun and the stars to guide you, and there's no satellite technology to tell you what kind of weather's coming up. So you have to deal with what hits you. And in the Southern Ocean especially, it can sometimes get pretty wild and dangerous. In the last um, edition of the race in 2018, the winner took seven months. I'll only have the food, water, and supplies I've got with me on the boat and no outside assistance of any kind is allowed. I really like this race because it's an adventure race. So it's not about how high tech your boat was and how precision sail trimmer you were. It really has that adventurous aspect and that luck aspect, which for me makes the dynamic very interesting and it makes the outcome of the race very unpredictable. Uh, when I was 22, I cycled down Africa from north to south, and as I was making my way through Europe, I had all these people telling me these stories of doom and gloom and trying to dissuade me. And then I got to Gibraltar. I was standing, you know, on the rock and looking across to Morocco and seeing the Atlas Mountains, and suddenly everything that everyone had said was just weighing down really heavily on me, and I was thinking, why am I doing this? This is a really a big undertaking and I was just thinking of the Sahara deserts and the jungles and you know all those things that I had to cross um, that layer between me and South Africa in that moment. I definitely had you know a feeling of anxiety and even fear and I've always done this actually even when I was much younger when I wanted to do something and I'd feel that fear I'd just say just look past the fear okay just uh, try not to feel it try not to let it dominate you in that moment, for example, I said to myself, look, just get onto the ferry and, and get across the Straits of Gibraltar and see what it's like in Morocco. And once you've taken that next step, you can think differently again. And that's exactly what I did. I got into Morocco and I just had so many nice people saying, wow, that's amazing. Um, Allah be with you, <laughs> giving me really encouraging words to keep going. And um, I still do that. I say to myself, just relax and just look at the next step, not the end destination. When I reached South Africa, I made the decision to fulfill a childhood dream and become a sailor. I've spent the last 15 years working as a professional delivery skipper and also on a high latitude exploration sailboat. I've been really privileged to have visited the Antarctic and have had so many amazing experiences at sea. They call this a solo race, but I'm not really doing it alone. I'm doing it with my boat, Minnehaha. Um, I found Minnehaha in Canada, and Minnehaha is a figure of a Native American mythology. I do talk to Minnehaha. I, I get angry with Minnehaha sometimes when, when things break or when she's stressing me out a little bit, but I also praise her when she's doing really well. A boat is a thing that carries your life, so you want to look after it um, and hope it will look after you in return. 
My mother has been incredibly supportive. She is an amazing mother. She, she gave up everything and, and said, I'm a mother and I will do everything it takes to be the best mother that I can. Her help has really been amazing, um, no matter what we're doing, whether we're um, sanding and getting full of dust or glue. It's just like, let's embrace the moments that we have together now and then I'll take a piece of her with me, you know. I'm gonna look at those portals she helped me repair. I think my mother helped me do that, you know, so. I've had younger girls and younger women who are especially starting out in the sailing industry send me really lovely messages telling me that I'm an inspiration. Um, those are really nice messages. Um, they're the kind of messages that feed you when you're alone out there and you're having a bit of a rough time. The reminder that there are people out there backing you. I'm just happy to be there. I'm happy that I'm, I was born in a generation where this kind of thing is possible for me you know, um, as opposed to maybe for my mother's generation, it might have been a lot more difficult. So it is my goal to try and win, but on the same token, I do remind myself that the outcome is so unknown. Um, I've got some really stiff competition and there's a very good chance that I won't win. There's even a chance that I won't make the finish line. So I just remind myself of that to keep my expectations in check as well. But ultimately my goal is to give it my all and everything to win. It might sound like a real cliche, but um, my message would be, if you have something that you really, really want to do, and you're willing to put in a lot of hard work, really a lot of hard work, um, but then it's worth trying to follow that dream. It might seem so far away and so unachievable, but if you're really, really wanting to do it and you're willing to give it your all and your best, things often do fall into place. So my message would be, go for it. Don't, don't give up on yourself and don't give up on your own dreams, you know.